If a person from 1750 was transported to 2016, he wouldn't recognise the world. The industrial and technological revolutions have changed society significantly. If we were transported to 2050, perhaps we'd see the same amount of progress in just a few decades. Just as smartphones and Skype would be unthinkable for someone from the 18th century, we may have the same reaction to the technologies being developed right now for use in the near future. Artificial intelligence is likely to be the next big revolution that changes the world we live in. Artificial intelligence means machines and computers that can act intelligently and display behaviours that we'd normally only associate with humans. For example, being able to hold a conversation in English or being able to make decisions based on our environments. AI is all around us and we use it every day without realising. You just have to know where to look. For example, something you probably take for granted is the recommended friends feature on Facebook. Data about your interests, locations, statuses, events and even searches are collected and AI is used to analyse this information to suggest people you may know. Facebook do a lot of research into how to analyse and process large amounts of data and artificial intelligence can be used to make this faster and make the data more useful. It can spot patterns in locations people go to and draw connections between people. Another application of AI that is in the news is self-driving cars. To drive without humans, the cars need to be able to recognise objects and obstacles on the road and find the shortest path from A to B. Therefore, much of the research being conducted in this field is to do with computer vision and pathfinding technologies. When we're travelling abroad, Google Translate can help us talk to the locals. This uses natural language processing, an area of research in artificial intelligence that allows computers to process information in a natural language like English, instead of a computer programming language. This means that Google Translate can recognise speech, detect the structure of sentences, translate them and then generate sound. A large body of research focuses on how we can get computers to better understand natural languages, using circuits that try and mimic our brains. Much of the UCL intelligence systems research is also in the field of natural language processing. One of their projects is Reinfer, a tool that automates customer support. Customers can message a chatbot with questions about a business or a website, and they receive responses that could have come from a human. All research in AI, both inside and outside of UCL, focuses on improving the efficiency of algorithms so that more complex programs can run on cheaper hardware, use up less memory and take less time to run. Currently, we can solve many complex problems with artificial intelligence, but AI falls short when it comes to tasks that as humans we take for granted. Things like recognising shapes and drawing conclusions for information are currently beyond the capability of much of the AI technology we have. The next big steps in AI will come when computers have the power to reason and make their own decisions. Computers are good at solving singular, difficult problems, but if you show a picture of a car crash to a chess program, it will not know what to do with it. It's only good at playing chess. Therefore, a big breakthrough will come when we can create single programs that can perform multiple tasks that humans can perform. This will take computers closer towards being truly intelligent. No one can predict what the future holds for AI, not even the researchers who devote their lives to the field, but to find out more, go to our website.